New Heights Academy Charter School is a 5th through 12th grade school in its third year of operation. New Heights is located in the West Harlem, Washington Heights area of New York City. There are 96 students on every grade, with classes comprised of 24 students. We adopted the Understanding by Design model at the school's inception and have been using UBD to unit plan ever since. Each year we hold new trainings for our staff members and are continually refining the process. These are reflections on the use of UBD at New Heights. Before I was officially trained in Understanding by Design, I thought that's what I was already doing. Um, I always had a big project at the end that I thought was a culmination of everything we had done in class. But learning the formatting of Understanding by Design, the actual process of unit planning, has really helped me refine that in a much more direct and disciplined way, which helps me every day pay attention to the keys that I want them to learn in class. So opposed to just picking a project that I thought um, brought everything together, now I can plan it so I know every single detail or everything that I want to get out of that. So it's really helped me refine that idea overall. UBD is good to start out because then you're looking at the big picture and you can see really where you're heading when you're teaching these individual lessons. Um, as teachers we have to know that students aren't going to remember every detail that you say. So if you have an idea of the big picture that you really want them to get and those big understandings that you want them to come out of your class with, mm -hmm. then you can make sure that every lesson kind of leads them to those big understandings. And if those are the only things that they really get out of the class, then you have accomplished your purpose, your job. So. Um, using UBD has made me very conscious of the final end product that I want my students to be able um, to produce. So rather than just having isolated skills, I'm always trying to figure out how they can use those skills um, in a real life situation or you know, to jumble the skills together to have a final product, especially things that might actually come up in, the real, in real life. Um, so working backwards, I get a better picture of the finer details and it also really helps me make the project something interesting and creative and well developed because I have to start at the end and plan out the rubric. I know, you know, the steps that I have to take along the way to get the kids to I've always the been level thinking that about achieve. so I'd say that what are they really going to need to use this for and creating something that's really creative and interesting for them to use their skills in a real way. Um, it's also forced me to think kind of outside the box in the different roles that I can give the students in my classroom and how many different types of projects I can do um, or how many different options I can give them. We're going to begin reading um, chapter 6, which starts on page 87. These questions um, on details from the book that will help you answer higher level questions for the Socratic seminar. So, right now, what you need to be doing is as we listen to chapter six, you're going to be taking notes for the discussion questions in your notebook. And then, once we finish chapter six, we'll start the Socratic Method seminar with the first round and then the second round. Oh, wow. Would it be great for people to be able to say, I think it won't be because that it will be so confusing to know who's which and which. And, um, Let's say, for example, when you come out to your house, and I say if you have a friend, but you don't know who's who. And I have green again, and it was for me because if everybody looks at me, then we will have the old person that I need. And like Master said that if somebody gets in trouble, they break the other person because everybody looks alike. He did not participate. He did not meet his goal because he was, I don't know what he was doing. He was just sitting there looking at something else, not tracking the speaker. And, and he did not make a response of I agree or I disagree, so he did not make his two goals. I think understanding by design helps my teaching because it guides my lesson plans. I know that the larger scope of it is to start with the big ideas and go down from there, but once you have those, and I can lay out everything that's in front of me, I can daily lesson plan a lot easier. Because I know what I need to get done first so that the end result can be what I want it to be for the kids and what I want it to be for my students. 
The biggest challenge with me for UBD is when something comes up in the middle of the book that wasn't one of my enduring understandings. And I find that all of a sudden I want to explore that avenue, but yet it wasn't something that I wanted in the beginning. And I've found that, you know, we constantly are reflective teachers and so I can change the practice throughout, but that's what gets me. When I'm in the middle of a novel and a student will come up with something where I think, oh, if only I'd remember that in the very beginning. Um, so it, what it does do is drive my, my tweaks for the following year for a curriculum, but that's the tough part. My biggest challenge with UBD is the fact that sometimes I go too big um, because I get really excited about the process and about the different things that I can offer the students that I think so grandiose that it makes it hard to actually get there in the end. So I think just um, after writing a UBD, I would say go back and streamline your different ideas. That would be my suggestion. The challenge for me as a science teacher is melding the UBD curriculum with the Regents curriculum. And I think you have to find the happy medium there and it's difficult to do that because you don't want to teach to the test and you do want to have kind of an open-ended science class where kids can make mistakes and they can learn from their mistakes, which is really what science is, um, but it's hard to find that meeting place.